Hello YouTube, hello. Today I'm going to record my first tutorial of my new tutorial series. I'm going to guide you through the basics of PJ coding and then I'm going to dive into more complex PJ components. Today I'm going to learn you how to do a basic movement of object through code. Yes, <coughs> I have set up a basic test scene here. It consists of ambient light hemisphere to make these sides not to be uh, black. I can actually disable specular for it. And I've got sun here with variant shadows which you can't see far enough. And here's a cube which I'm going to work on now. Okay. To start with, I'm going to create a new script. I'm going to slide it up to make it a big, bit bigger for you to see it well. I'm going to enable syntax highlighting and enumeration of lines. And I'm going to call this script, hmm, let's call it movecube.py to mark that it is Python. And now, let's make the script as we want it to be. Usually you would do some imports, but for this script we can actually make it import less. What we do is, we create a new def a function and call it move. I don't know, you can call it whatever you want and accept there are some rules. It should always start with lowercase letter. You can't start it with uppercase letter and you can't start it with number. It should always be lowercase letter. And then you can use any numbers and uppercase and lowercase letters and this I I forgot how it was called but you can cause use this symbol too. Ho however, I'll call it just simple move. Then we add brackets, and for this case, I'm going to type in cont. You can call it controller, whatever you want. It basically defines this thing, which we know as controller. So I call it as cont. So that it is easy to recognize it. As we, I've added this, you can uh, do it the same, and I'll call it move, set it to module, and here I must take in the script name without dot .py, so I just take move cube, copy it, and paste here. Then I add dot, and then I add the name of the function above, above here. So I copy it and paste it. So I get this move cube dot move. So now we must define the cube in the script and we can define it as owner so own equals to count dot owner. I'm going to comment it, but you can do it or not, it's your own decision. So this is the cube object that executes the script. Okay, I'm going to add always sensor with, with true level triggering. What does this mean? Is that it will be executed each frame. Okay, and this time I'm going to do a very basic thing. I'm gonna move the cube. Now, there are several several types of movement. Basically, there are just two. But there are more ways to make them. One type of movement is what 
I don't know what it's called, but it's basic movement where you just make it move several units each execution frame. And we do it simply by doing own dot apply movement. And here we put in the movement. So how this works is simple. It takes an X, Y and Z movement values and then it takes if it is local or not, which is boolean. So let's take a comment, tell it X, Y, Z and also local. This can be instead of list it can be vector which we'll recover later how to use, how to make them and as far as I know it can also be tuple however I prefer lists so let's put in some values let's make it move along y-axis by 0 to 0, 1 planar unit which equals to 1 centimeter and y-axis are there and I'll set it to false it will immediately not move locally but use global space currently it will move like that where the y cursor shows so it will use global axis if I hit P to play you can see it moves there what you can do here is increase number something like this you can set another axis to move for example x axis or you can set multiple axes to each move it so it will move make, let's make it more noticeable it will move that direction now to simplify the proof now we'll move it on the x axis and now what does this do? let's explain to you more detail moves it always using those axis direction which you can see when you have global mode enabled here so for example if I rotate the cube like this the axis stay the same and it still moves the same direction I'll press Alt and R uh, to disable all this rotation and reset it to zero but what does happen if I set this to true? I'll rotate it around. You can see XX there. It should move there. But it doesn't. What it does, it moves it locally. And in this case, local XX are facing that direction. So it moves there. This is basically it for this tutorial. See you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit a like to see next videos. See you around.